Colorado is home to some amazing fly fishing, and is where I called home for the past few years. I was able to fish some beautiful places, and catch some really nice fish. However, I recently moved to Texas, so I figured it would be fitting for me to make a top 10 list of my most memorable fishing trips in Colorado. To start this list off, in spot number 10 is my very first big brown caught in Colorado. This was a day that was really tough for me, and I had spent the entire three days of fishing the Animus with no luck. I had pretty much given up. I'm done. This is absolutely terrible. I feel broken. I don't want to fish anymore. Well, I got the long walk back. Nothing. No fish. Just absolutely one of the worst days I've ever had fishing. As I got back to my car, I decided to give it one last cast. And amazingly, I hooked into this. <sighs> yeah! Look at that fish. Holy moly. That's a big boy. He's probably, I don't know, 22, 23, 24, somewhere around there. All right, I'm gonna get him back in the water. Oh, finally on this river, ha ha. Wow. In spot number nine, I would say was the day that I fished with Jeff, also on the Animus River. He took me to a spot that he had some luck earlier that week, and then he hooked into a brute of a fish. I mean, this thing took him forever to bring in, and it just didn't want to budge. Finally he got it in though, and it was really nice bow. Yeah! yeah! What a fight, dude! It's not only about big fish though in Colorado. For instance, this trip to the Hemas Mountains holds spot number eight. While technically the Jemez Mountains are in New Mexico, it was a very short drive for me from my home in Colorado, and I had an amazing time with a subscriber of mine. Justin showed me one of his favorite small creeks. We caught so many fish, it was stupid. The best thing was, it was all on dry flies. And I love the footage I got on this trip. And unfortunately when I hooked him, he jumped up and landed on the log there. But luckily he was fine. And sure enough, he got a fish to bite. See ya, little guy. Another beautiful brown, caught on a royal wolf. Well, he didn't cooperate on that underwater release, but hey, we both finally got a fish. And here's another Small Creek dry fly trip for spot number seven. So my friend Carter and Sam went out to a small creek that holds mostly small browns and brookies. There are some really beautiful fish in this creek, and they readily eat dry flies. However, Carter ended up catching a fish that I couldn't figure out what it was. I later found out that it was a bull trout, which are quite rare for this area. You guys tell me, is this a light colored brookie? I mean, I see the white fin tips. So Electra Lake has some amazing fishing during the right time of year, and my trip to this lake holds spot number six. The beginning of the trip was tough. I fell in the water and broke my sunglasses. However, I found something amazing after. I've never seen fish stacked up this tight before and ready to eat. I fished for a few minutes and caught three, back to back. I couldn't seem to make a cast and not get hooked up. After three fish, I caught it quits and went home to dry off. Hey. 
This is just too easy. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. However, was a good fighter and much prettier. All right, time for another one. There was once where I forgot to bring water with me and got dehydrated. And spot number five was memorable for me because I almost died. But I did come back the following day and caught quite a few beautiful trout. Well, if you have been following the channel for a while, you would know that the place that I was fishing was Gunnison River in the Black Canyon. Well, a beautiful little brook trout. A good sized rainbow. However, he wasn't as pretty as the last few. Another trip with my buddy Jeff that was off the hook. This was Moles Lake near Silverton and it's my pick for spot number four. The fish were readily eating dry flies, and they were fighters. Not only were they spunky, but they were good size and very plentiful. I seriously caught more fish on this trip than I think I've ever caught in one day. Ever. It was almost every cast. Not only did we catch rainbows, but also some cutthroat as well. So after that fish, I decided to walk around the lake of beautiful rainbow. Large dry dragonfly is my indicator as well. However, shortly after, I lost that small nymph, so I switched to a large... Another trip that most everyone who has followed me for a few years will remember is my number three pick. This was my trip to Dolores, in which I found a few small lakes and caught some really nice fish. These brown were amazingly spunky, and all seemed to be monstrously large, including one that was the largest brown trout I had ever caught up until that date. Yeah, another big brown. Oh, this one felt really nice. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. Biggest trout I have ever caught. I don't even know if he's in the camera. I can't see, I can't tell. Oh my gosh. Boy, is he a beauty. All right, let's get him back in the water, huh? Trip number two is one that I will never forget. Me and my buddy Jeff went out camping in the mountains, and that night it rained cats and dogs. We almost left. However, we stuck it out and went fishing the next morning to a tiny little creek. One I thought would not be holding fish. But sure enough, there were some really nice cutthroat in that creek, and quite a few of them at that. Now, it was tight quarters, but it was all dry fly action and some of the most fun I've ever had fishing.
Now it's fitting that the most memorable trip I've ever had in Colorado was the last trip I took. I went fishing with both my friends, Carter and Jeff, in the dead of winter. We saw bear tracks and caught some really nice fish. Jeff hooked into something huge that drug him up and down the river a few times. Finally, we got it in, and it was the largest brown I had ever seen. Then I hooked into a fish, and this one was a tank. I could not budge it. It also took me up and down the river. But finally Jeff was able to net it for me. And this ended up being the prettiest and largest brown I had ever seen, let alone caught. Absolutely amazing. While I am sad to be leaving where I called home for the past few years, in Colorado will always hold a special place in my heart. The beauty there is spectacular. But Texas also has some beauty through the state. I'm sad to leave my close friends that I've had many amazing trips with, but I have the opportunity to make new friends here. And while the fishing in Colorado is amazing, there is still some good fishing here with some new species to learn, and even some familiar ones as well. So keep tuned and join me in my new adventure fishing Texas Hill Country for bass and a plethora of warm water fish. And hopefully even some of the Gulf, fishing for redfish and other saltwater species. So if any of you are interested in watching the full videos of these trips, I will link all of them in the description section of this video.